With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. One question is, an infinitely long sheet conductor AB is fixed and a current is passed through it. Another movable straight wire CD of finite length and carrying current is held perpendicular to it and released. Neglect the weight of the wire and then we have these are the these are the options in which we have to tell the motion of the CD. Okay, so in option A we have the rod CD will move upwards parallel to itself. In option B we have the rod CD will move downward parallel to itself. Option C is the rod CD will move upward and turn clockwise at the same time. And in option D we have the rod CD will move upward and turn anti-clockwise at the same time. So now we are having two conductors. Okay, A B is the infinite infinitely long conductor and we have CD of finite length okay so let's say the length of the CD be small l okay and let's say it is placed at a distance x from the infinitely long conductor AB now we have see uh, there is a current I1 flowing in the wire AB right so due to this current I1 there will be a magnetic field produced okay and by the right hand screw rule we can find the direction of the magnetic field generated by this I1 current would be in the dot polarity okay that will be inside the page or inside the screen okay like this now this CD conductor which is carrying a current has been placed in an external magnetic field then then there will act a force on this conductor CD right and this force direction we can find by using the Fleming's left hand rule okay and by using the Fleming's left hand rule we can find the this force to be in the direction of the upward okay the force will act in the upward direction now we have C we have two points on this conductor CD one is point is C another is point D now C the magnetic field generated by this current I1 would be given as B equals to mu naught over 2 pi into I1 divided by R okay where R is the distance of the conductor from the infinitely straight wire okay now if I find the magnetic field at point C this will be given as mu naught I1 divided by 2 pi into X because in this case the point C is at a distance of X as we have assumed and if I find the magnetic field at point D it will be equal to mu naught I1 divided by 2 pi into what is the distance x plus l right x plus l and also we know that the force acting on this conductor f will be proportional to we can say is proportional to the magnetic field acting right magnetic field so now see here the distance x is lesser than the distance x plus l hence we can say that the magnetic field acting at point C must be greater than the magnetic field at acting at point D due to the distance okay distance of D is greater than distance of C from the I1 conductor right so we can say that the force acting on the point C or the portion C will be greater in magnitude and similarly on the the force acting on the point D would be lesser in the magnitude right and this force will be distributed like this it will be decreasing in magnitude as we go in uh, as we go in the uh, towards the ending length of the conductor cd right so now due to this unsymmetrical distribution of the force there will act a torque okay that will try to rotate this rod in the clockwise direction okay so we will have see the net force the force will be acting in the upward motion okay upward direction so we can say the rod CD will move upward but at the same time due to this torque the rod will have a tendency to rotate in the clockwise direction and from the given options we have from A, B, C and D we have the option C as the correct answer ok the rod CD will move upward and turn clockwise at the same time thank you for class 6 to 12 ITG and NEET level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today